Hey Virgo, how are you? Welcome to Karma Readings. I'm Alexandra, also known as Karma. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. March 2022, energy is fluid, so this may um, have already happened in some areas. It may just be happening, or it may happen anywhere between now and the next three months. Um, if at any time this reading resonates with you, please go ahead and hit that like button as it does help with the algorithm of my channel. Um, forgive me. And if you're interested in a personal reading at any time, there are links in the description box below. If you would like to see um, reviews, you can go to my Etsy, which is the second and third link, uh, I believe, in the description box. And that way you can see reviews on readings. All right, Virgo, let's start with my blessing and prayer. And let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Virgo in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding. As well as a higher knowledge and perception. Mm, they're giving me a message. Into what karmic cycles and soul lessons Virgo is currently going through, about to go through. Need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do. In all that I am and all that I do. I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. So, Spirit is showing me, forgive me, they, they, so, how do I explain this? You're, you're leveling up. And so I literally heard, I was shown something. I was shown something that, I, I, I was shown something right now that I need to repent for in myself. And when they showed that to me while I was shuffling for you, they let me know that it's because I'm leveling up. And then they showed me Virgo, like the, the symbol for Virgo. Um, so there's something that you have to release because, or, 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 or the reason why you're going through something or the reason why you're recognizing something um, or realizing it is because spirit's wanting you to let it go, forgive it, learn the trigger or understand what it is because it means nothing and you have to let it go because you're about to level up. So the, whatever it is that you're experiencing that's like making you uncomfortable, the, the reason of it, Virgo, the root of it is because you're about to evolve. You're about to level up in your life in, in a very big way. And so you're, you're being conditioned is what they're showing me. And so how do you release blockages by repenting them? Even if you don't understand how you could be responsible for it, you tell him that. You give it to God and you say, I, I, this keeps coming up and I don't understand my responsibility, but if I have a responsibility with it, I give it to you and can you show me so that then I can truly release it and forgive it. That's what I do and maybe that will help you and he will show you. He will show you. So let's see what messages. <laughs> Wow, I can't make this up. So Virgo, you have don't let your past hold you back. That's the first card out. Don't let your past hold you back. So there's something in your past, Virgo, that you really need to release. Maybe you think you have released it, but you haven't truly forgiven it because it's still there and it still creates um, a wall of enforcement in your life and in how you make decisions, okay? Um, so let's see, what is this one? Um, so that was your south node. So also researching uh, what is your south node and then understanding that that will help you with learning what you need to let go of from your past, okay? And then you have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So there's a need for you to... Um, hmm, okay, because you're Virgo, earth sign... So lower, lower three chakras, yellow, red, and orange. 
So balance, spirituality, and practicality. You're working your way up right now to your heart chakra because that's our zero point, right? That's our zero point. That is that is when we're in balance. That's when we you know, are right where we need to be. If you are um, overly uh, uh, logical or overly dominant and masculine in your spiritual imbalance, you'll be on the three bottom chakras that you'll need to work on the most, which is solar plexus, root, and sacral. And then if you're, um, you know, which would be the practicality. And if you're too much in the spirituality, it would be the three, the top three um, chakras that are off balance that you would have to work on. Okay, so crown, third eye, and throat but we all need to come down to our center which is green and it's our heart chakra because that is where our soul and where god's spirit resides when the holy spirit enters you it resides in your heart and god can only truly fully feel comfortable inside of you when your heart is pure when you've cleansed it, when you've repented for everything and then that's when your life starts really aligning because now you're living in him, with him, for him, okay? And so balance, spirituality, and practicality. There's still some um, heavy perceptions and thoughts or heavy feelings and emotions that you, they're heavy. So you should, fit, you recognize them. And when they're heavy like that, you're off balance. They're wrong. You need to bring it up to your heart. So don't let your past hold you back. Balance spirituality and practicality. And then you have a win-win out. Wow, isn't this great? A win-win outcome is forecast. And it's full moon in Libra, which is the scales. So balance, okay? The, the, this can only be beneficial for you. There's, there, is no, there is no negative in, in doing this. Now, if you choose not to, which I, I can't imagine you would, so I don't even want to go there, but let's just say that. If you choose not to do the work, it's still a win-win outcome because you're going to continue to go through the same, you know, situations over and over until you do finally get sick of it and you do finally, you know, release it and change. So how long it takes is, is up to you. But there's a need for you to address your past and to recognize any heaviness or triggers within you and see, are these legitimate? Am I, am I coming from a zero point here? Okay, so let's see here. Let's see if we can get details for Virgo, please. You have the Five of Swords as the current energy. So there's um, a lot of miscommunication, hurtful communication, blocked communication, but no truth really taking place here with somebody. You also have the Father of Pentacles as your current energy, or you just could not even be talking to someone. Um, the outside energy is the hanged man, so there's definitely a pause here. The challenge is the Knight of Swords. The next steps of action is the Seven of Cups. And beautiful, just like over there, the full moon in Libra, your outcome is Libra, justice, balance, okay? Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. You are slowly making your way to releasing that what is which is holding you back. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. I feel like you've worked through a lot, a lot, a lot of pain and illusions and, and you've released a lot because I see all the swords on the bottom and they're pointing upwards. So you've spoken these out, you've understood these, you've worked through these and you've got everything down to a, a pinpoint Virgo. But there's one thing that you're still holding on to because you see the butterflies like hanging from the sword and then there's this Knight of Pentacles which is the slowest moving knight. Um, so it's like I was saying, there's still something that you need to release um, or work on. It's a root issue. It could be surrounded to, because it's the Knight of Pentacles. Um, 
how you perceive investments and investments could be money or emotions like how you invest in relationships how people should invest with you is it overly invested do you not invest enough what are your views on investment just in general if you have to start with just money investment look at how you handle your money how you handle your money is how you handle your own personal energy and your own love for yourself do you run out of money quickly then you run out of love for yourself quickly do you hold on to your money and respect it and invest it in proper places so that it continues to grow? Then you probably do the same thing with how you feel about yourself. And then you can start there. Okay. Um, that's a wound. That's just how to work through that wound, whatever that is. It could even be pertaining to a particular person. Because I think you're aware of that. You may be dealing with father wounds because your energy is coming through as the father of pentacles. Um, and so that would make sense if you're dealing with lower chakra issues here, um, which it looks like you are because the antlers have yellow, red, and orange. So it's, you know, I think that you just need to figure out how you invest with others because there seems to be a, a situation where communication has stopped i do feel like the truth is known or the truth is seen but the truth has not been mutually discussed like either you see it for what it is and the other person is in denial and just like you know saying stuff to you or both of you see what it is but you you guys aren't telling each other and and i do feel like you're just kind of in the energy of it is what it is um with don't let your past hold you back you maybe you've known this person for quite some time so you feel like you know don't be held back by them just because you've known them for so long doesn't mean that you know if, if something goes wrong or shifts the wrong way it shifts the wrong way right we have to live in the now moment and whatever's happening right now is what's most important that could change at any given moment it could change tomorrow Clarify the Father of Pentacles, please, for Virgo's current energy. The Page of Cups is how we're doing this, okay? Tiptoe at a time. Is that what you're doing? Because I have the Page of Cups, so it's like, okay, I'll release it. But you're like releasing a crumb. Because the Page of Cups is like, hmm, it's a very small investment here, this Page of Cups, to be coming in as, it's just confusing, to be coming in as the Father of Pentacles. I mean, this is some strong, forceful energy. Um, it's a buck, right? I mean, I'm not familiar, but it's a big deer. Um, no, but then the Page of Cups, to clarify you. So you come in with this hard, strong, forceful energy, and then you have a teeny tiny investment. So, or maybe that's how the other person views you in this particular situation. And maybe that's what you're learning about yourself is that you, you might protect yourself too much when it comes to in, in emotional investment. Sorry, I was going to say emotional investment and emotional mixed together. Um, and then you don't see down here you don't see how everything that you want, everything that you're wishing for, all of this happiness and celebration and, you know, is blocked by you because you refuse to let go of something with the High Priestess, the Eight of Swords, and the Death card. All of our relationships with people only reflect and mirror exactly how we feel about ourselves and how we treat ourselves. Until we reach that zero point, can we truly see who and what people are and what they're doing? Otherwise, it's just a direct reflection of the pain that we have inside and what we're looking to be filled by someone else. When, you know. So let's take a look at the hanged man. So the outside energy is the hanged man. Things are on pause right now. Why? Why the hanged man? Or you kind of pulled away. 
Yeah, with the Five of Swords. So this person may not be communicating with you or you're not communicating with somebody. Very closed off energy. It's a time for reflection because enlightenment is coming. That's why I like the Hanged Man. Enlightenment is coming. Yes, it is. There we go. So the Hanged Man is clarified by the Ten of Cups and the Star. So if things are paused, if you feel isolated, if you feel like everything is stopped right now and you don't understand why that momentum can't pick up, it's because spirit is giving you an opportunity to cleanse and heal yourself emotionally. He wants you to be emotionally fulfilled and he wants you to cleanse and repent and, and heal yourself. You have the star and the 10 of cups. You want something, family life, whatever this is, home life, because it's the 10 of cups. You know, wh whether it's relationships with uh, your um, loved ones or an intimate relationship, there's this divine energy that wants to come in and fulfill you. But he can't just do it for no reason. He's got to condition us so that when it comes, we know how to stay at that level and keep that vibration and that happiness within ourselves and within our life so that we don't deplete it. And how does he condition us? By, by putting us through difficult situations where we can navigate where we lack emotional fulfillment within ourselves. What, those triggers represent gaps within your heart that you need to fill with light. And as you do that, you begin to rise up your chakras and come to center point. That's why everything is paused right now. You're not at center point yet. The challenge has been the Knight of Swords. Does this have to do with truthful communication or, or arguing? Like somebody just likes to jump to conclusions or they just like to say whatever they need to say. Like they, ha I'm going to say this and it has to be this way. That's been challenging for you. So I don't know if that's you or the other person. But let's take a look. Clarify the Sun of Swords, please, as a challenge for Virgo. The Hierophant, the Hierophant and the Five of Pentacles, the Magician. Commitment issues, abandonment wounds, you have Five of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So the challenge has been the truth, talking about the truth about being abandoned either financially or in a family situation, a job situation, a love situation, because the Hierophant is commitment and the Five of Pentacles is lack of. But on a deeper level, this is somebody who has no spiritual connection or relationship with any sort of spiritual being at all. This is like an, an empty soul. Not even, they're not even a soul, it's just an empty shell. It's like a robot. This is really sad. This is really sad for me to see on the table. Um, and I'm really curious as to how um, some of you uh, will resonate with this. So please write in the comments. But this is a person who is in a lot of pain. And I actually don't feel like this is you. I do feel like the challenge is you have seen something for what it is for a really long time. And um, I think that you've tried to get this other situation or person to see something, like you wanted the truth to be seen, like it's so obvious to you, it's so right in front of you. And I think that you've tried many, many times to lift the veil and to explain things and to really take action to bring healing into this person's life. You have the magician and temperance here as well. You've taken a lot of your time, your energy, and your effort. That's why you're not investing so deeply. This person is a part of the reason why you are closed off or in pain. So I don't know if this is like a family member, but whatever you experience with this person, it really triggers some of the deepest, deepest uh, father or mother wounds, parental wounds. I'm gonna say father because you have the father of pentacles as your energy. And you know, the challenge is 
you just can't handle the fact that this person can't get the truth because it's so clear to you that this person needs a relationship with God or needs to heal because they're just they're just empty. They're empty. And I think it's very painful for you to see that. And so you try to protect yourself by putting up this wall and still staying in this person's life as a way of loyalty but who are you really proving that to who are you really proving that you're loyal to virgo you're only hurting yourself so you're not even proving to yourself that you're loyal because yourself is saying virgo you're hurting me why are you putting me in this situation and then you beat yourself up again because you're like oh but virgo You've known them forever and they're hurting you because they're hurting and then you won't be loyal if you, God himself, Jesus, the Bible, everything tells you to forgive but not forget. And if something isn't changing, that is their purpose or, or their hologram or their robot or their pawn in this life. That's who they are. And you have to know and recognize what is best for you. That's how you come in to balance. Next steps of action is the seven of cups. And I love this picture because, and I'm going to, I know we're getting late, but you have three and three that are perfectly aligned and one cup in the middle that is turned upside down. You're balancing. It's okay to let it go. If something depletes you and exhausts you, if something hurts you, you can still love it and let it go. It's not for you. It's no longer for you. And then that's when your balance comes in. That's when your karmic reward comes in. That's when you've closed a cycle and you've shown God that you put in the effort, you put in the work, and you want to do this. You want to you wanna release what no longer serves you. You know, you can pray for people from a distance, but don't put yourself in harm's way for someone else's issues. All right, Holy Spirit, what seasons this year in 2022 will Virgo experience exciting moments? Taurus season. Virgo season, of course. Oh, Taurus again. Okay, so wow, big things happening in Taurus season. And of course, Libra season, balance, scale, justice, okay? Um, so your birthday season, Taurus twice and Libra. Virgo, enjoy your day. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon.